Let me reiterate again why we cannot use ordinary least square regression when our dependent variable has only two categories. As you have seen before, the dependent variable for logistic regression is represented by the logic. And this is the formula for the logic. The number or the probability of people having that attribute divided by the number or probability of those not having the attribute. So, because of that, as you can see from the graph below, it shows how the probability of having an attribute change across different values of x. If we try to answer our research question using logistic regression. And you've seen this before. If we use ordinary least square regression to answer our research question, we get two straight lines. Regardless of how we operationalize our independent variable. And as I mentioned before, for people with different ages, they can either be a registered voter or not a registered voter. Because of that, we only see two straight lines. And it doesn't look like a normal distribution. So it violates the assumption of normality for ordinary least square regression. And we can clearly see the dichotomous nature of the dependent variable in this figure. The dichotomous nature of the dependent variable being a registered voter or not in this case are just being portrayed by two straight lines two horizontal lines. However, as you look into this diagram, this diagram does not provide a clear picture of the nature of relationship between age and voting registration. We can only see two straight lines. But if we use logistic regression, the probability of being a registered voter can be assessed on different age ranges. And it looks more like an S-shaped curve. And as you can see, the logic or the lock of odds ranges from 0 to 1. It cannot get below a 0 or it cannot get more than 1. 